Let's take it back to Harambe when I was trying to be a baller, but where were you? I was out there trying to get it, and where were you? Eyes working on my pivot, and where were you? What's up, guys? My name is Edward, and you're watching Zygostatics. Today, I'm going to be your coach. And um, a lot of people are going a little bit crazy because they're finding out that coronavirus is spreading really, really rapidly. And we're seeing health and fitness clubs getting closed down, people's local gyms getting closed down. And people are wondering, what are we going to do without our gyms? Are we going to lose all our gains? What's going to happen to us? And it's really interesting for me to actually see what's unfolding because people are, are having so many different theories of what to do in this situation. Um, for me, myself, I don't really mind if my gym closes because I've never lifted weights before in my life. I've used bodyweight exercise from about the age of 15 and for about 10, 11 years, I've been focusing on trying to, <laughs> trying to really find out the results of a little experiment I started back when I was 15. I wanted to see if it was possible to build a complete physique using only bodyweight exercise. And it actually started with me um, not wanting to start my growth. And I really wanted to get into training because my older brother was doing weights at home. And um, at that time, I was only five foot three. So you've got to imagine me as a 15 year old kid, five foot three, I was, I was really, really self-conscious about my height. So I decided that I was gonna lift weights when I hit 19. However, in that period of time, I was doing calisthenic exercises in my own home. And when I went to school, um, a lot of people were commenting on my physique and I was actually, you know, decently um, sized in comparison to my peers. So that's what led me to focus on seeing exactly how far I could push my body without using weights. And today I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my, or some of my results. Um, and I'm going to give you guys a workout that you can do in your own home. And I know that this workout is not only going to help you to maintain your gains once you're not, obviously whilst you're not going to the gym, I know this, is, this workout is actually going to help you to build lean muscle and it's scientifically proven to do so in many different ways. But in this video, I'm not really going to explain too much about how it's going to work. I'm not going to really explain anything about my journey in any more detail than I've already given you because I feel like this is a short video that we just obviously, we want to get into it. I want to show you guys what the workout is. But to give you guys a summary, I've picked out some of the hardest bodyweight exercises I could find that, that anyone can actually do. So that means you, you can do this, this workout as well. Because when we see a lot of people showing people how to do calisthenics exercises to build muscle, they normally pick out the hardest or the most technically difficult exercises in the world. We're talking about exercises that require a lot of balance, a lot of core coordination, and um, a lot of flexibility. And this stuff is all built over time. So this stuff is obviously, is, it has a learning curve associated with these skills. And although they can actually help to build more muscle, it's not essential that a beginner does these exercises, nor is it essential that you do these exercises if you're trying to make gains. So even me in my own routines now, some of the reasons why I've built more muscle in the recent years than I actually um, did build when I was doing even more advanced exercises than I'm doing now is because I understand what mus muscle hypertrophy is and I've researched into the science of it and I've figured out that you actually don't need to overcomplicate things too much. It's quite simple. But this program is actually gonna help you to build your shoulders. We're gonna be focusing on our lateral delts, which is the side of our delts. Our anterior delts, we're gonna be focusing on our upper chest, our, um, our whole chest in, in general, our whole pectorals, and also our triceps. So let's see if you can actually build muscle at home and actually find um, bodyweight exercise to be more challenging than you thought it was. I'm telling you, a lot of people are underestimating the power of bodyweight exercises. And a lot of YouTube channels that I've seen online, even people that do calisthenics, tend to um, underestimate the power of bodyweight exercise. So I want you guys to open up your minds and um, give this workout a go. Let me know if you like it in the comment section. Let me know if you want other workouts um, and I'm happy to do other workouts with you. Um, so we're gonna be doing five exercises and we're gonna be doing three sets of each exercise. And the only equipment you need for this um, workout is two chairs which I've got behind me right here. And you also need two plastic bags um, that you can open out and that's all you need for this workout. So make sure you hit the like button, share this video if it really helped you out and make sure you subscribe for more videos. All right, I'll see you in the workout. Yeah, so the first exercise we're gonna be doing is just maximum push-ups, And this is what we call a preload. So what we're gonna be doing is getting all the blood rushing into our chests, our shoulders, our triceps, because today we're gonna to be doing a push day.
Uh, guess I'm back, yeah, yeah, all intact, yeah, yeah, couple stacks, yeah, yeah, pay that tax, yeah, yeah, pray to God, yeah, yeah, that my sauce, yeah, yeah, all aboard, yeah, yeah, moving far, yeah, yeah, got that juice, yeah, yeah, living proof, yeah, yeah, trying to troop, yeah, yeah, that my you, yeah, yeah, double deuce, yeah, yeah, trouble you, yeah, yeah, stay in law, yeah, yeah, word of rule, yeah, yeah, talk my talk, yeah, yeah, spin my truth, yeah, yeah, living proof, yeah, yeah, living proof, yeah, yeah, east side roots, yeah, yeah, showing proof, yeah, yeah, living proof, yeah, yeah, living proof, yeah, yeah, living Living proof, yeah, yeah. East side roots, yeah, yeah. Showing proof, yeah, yeah. Living proof, yeah, yeah. Living proof, yeah, yeah. Living proof, yeah, yeah. Living proof, yeah, yeah. Living. I'm still on my own, yeah, yeah. I cut a tone, yeah, yeah. I need a phone. Yeah. We'll go for a two minute rest because <laughs> it's quite hard, and then we're gonna do the next exercise. Yeah, so the next exercise you're going to be doing is wall assisted decline push ups. So, this is really, really hard. What you're going to do is you can use the normal wall. I'm just going to use the surface, but you're going to tuck your legs in. You're going to keep your hands in a supinated grip, so not facing forwards, because this can actually damage your wrists. Hands facing, you know, supinated, facing behind you, fingers pointing towards the floor. You're going to place your hands on the floor. You're going to elevate your legs. And when you elevate your legs, you're going to put them on the surface. If it's a really high, it could be off a table. Again, you can use the wall. But if you are using the wall and you're a beginner, you might want to wear shoes so you've got some grip. Because if you, if you don't have any grip, all of your, your weight is going to be on your shoulders and your chest. And it's really hard, yeah? So let's get into this. So we're going to do three sets of, three sets of 10. And um, I'll be back and tell you the rest. Oh, God. Yeah, remember back in the day, life ain't made sense. Oh, I was set one, gonna rest for a minute and then we're gonna do set two. So one key point is that your hands need to be closer to the wall. If your hands are far away from the wall, it's just going to feel like a decline push-up. But this exercise is a lot harder than a decline push-up because we're reducing the angle. So more of the weight is placed on our shoulders, our delts and our upper chest. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's really hard. All right, let's go in for the second set. Driving in the bins, I couldn't see clear vent, so I got no blends. Hercules, 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 Hercules. Went and got new friends, and they with me till the end. Hercules, 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 Hercules. 
I'm the only one I see. I've been out here on my knees. That's a guy why me. I'm a young OG. You don't even know me. Hercules, Hercules. Living for eternity. I had people walk away. I seen die stuck in place. What you wanted me to say? I'm just trying to find my way. Hercules, Hercules. One more. It's okay to take breaks, but try and limit it to up to 10 to 20 seconds. And try and fit in at least six reps before you take a break. Go one more. Another minute of rest. What'd you say? It's not a minute yet, so... Let me know when it is a minute. Oh. I'm gonna aim for six this round. It's so hard, and my shoulders are so dead because I've trained on Thursday. Mm -hmm. But I'll make it. Oh. A minute yet? Uh, I couldn't hold on for any longer. I've got five more to go. I just really wanted to hit five. <laughs> or six, really, but... Don't worry, you're a big guy. Alright. We now. can do the shoulders. Oh. Let's go. Man, I'm talking mentally. MJ23. I've been having bad dreams. It's been hard for me to sleep. I remember feeling weak. Hercules, Hercules. Hercules. Galactic. Two more. That's why I gave everyone a two minute rest before the first exercise. Because I knew this one was death. Let's go. I remember 19, had a pocket full of trees Made it hard for me to breathe, made it hard for me to leave Made it hard for me to- Exercise 1, completed like a boss Now we're on to exercise 2 Okay guys, I know I said one minute rest, but after one minute, there's no way I was going to be able to do the next exercise. So we're going to do two minutes in between each set, because I've picked out exercises that are really engaging, really direct for this workout, because I figure out a lot of people that are going to the gym have the impression that bodyweight exercise is easy. So I've picked out hard exercises that are technically simple, but it's still a lot of work, yeah? And it's relative to your size, so because I'm heavy, more weight was on my shoulders and on my chest in that motion, right? And it will be the same for you if you're a bodybuilder and you're quite heavy, so it's gonna be hard for everyone, even if you're lightweight. So that's why I picked out these exercises. But now we're gonna be doing tricep extensions. So we're gonna be doing this on the floor. So our arms are gonna be on the floor in this motion, and we're gonna be just literally extending our, our arms and tensing our triceps. And this is really gonna to help to train our triceps and the, especially the medial head. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to lean forward so that our, our chest is literally parallel to our hands and we're going to be pushing from that position. But I do appreciate that this is an exercise that's quite hard and not everyone will be able to do it. So if you can't do it, do knee push-ups, like in the position of knee push-ups, I'll show you what that is and you're going to do the same thing. So let me show you the easy version and the hard version quickly. So for the easy version, 
get your back straight and you're going to then do your extension from here. One, two, slowly extending your hands, getting a full contraction on your tricep. But for everyone else, you're going to be doing it in the normal push-up position. And as I mentioned, lean forward and just do the same thing. Lean forward. One. Could have been everything a whole and if you got it six. All right guys, so I only managed to do six in the first go because the other exercises in this workout are so difficult that this is really hard for even me to do. But let's do it in two sets or three sets. So I'm basically still on six, we're still gonna do three sets of ten. Let's go. If you got it, read about it on the nose. If you thought that I was playing, that's a shame. I know they told you that they So that's the first set of 10. We're gonna do a one minute rest, next set of 10, then the first set of 10. Okay, right, let's go for set two. Four more. One more. Keep the reps consistent in pace. Don't speed up just because it's really difficult or don't do any half reps. Just take a break and it's okay to do that. Just keep it brief. One more. One more minute. Right, a minute of rest is gone. Let's just do this final set and get it over and done with. Okay. Never change. And it's like that I've been living, got me thinking. Trying not to slip, so I've been planking. You offer me a drink since you've been drinking. But listen, I am not the one to drink with. And listen, I ain't never been the move. Always kind of been a type that have a clue Always kind of been a type that had a plan Can't be tweaking with the power in my hands Can't be tweaking but it's got me going crazy How I sit and think about you lately I noticed that you kind of out the way But how we feel is how we move so what you saying What you saying? 
Cause eyes about to call you but the call Alright now for now for two minute rest and then I'm gonna introduce the next exercise. Alright guys, so the third exercise we're going to be doing is body weight floor flies. Now I use flies a lot in my exercise to help with the definition and fitness of my chest. I normally use um, ab wheels, which are these. So this has twin individual ab wheels and it's so easy to do, but these can be a little bit expensive. So if you don't have these, you don't really need this. Um, you can improvise by just using carrier bags, just break them up into two different pieces and they'll glide nicely on carpet and even on wooden floor. So this is what I'm going to use today to just show you how easy it is to do it in your own house, yeah? So let's go. We're doing three sets of 10 by the way, I think I forgot to tell you. <laughs> One other thing I'll point out is that our fingers are going to be facing away from us and we're going to be flying, <laughs> flying. We're going to be contracting and um, flexing our chest and bringing our arms together. We're going to then squeeze our chest together so we can get a deep contraction on our inner chest. It's also going to be training our shoulders as well at the same time. Then we're going to extend. We're going to do it really slowly. So no, no moving really fast. So you're just going to start slipping and sliding. Yeah. So let's go. Yeah. So make sure you've got enough room. I just had to make sure mine was fine. Alright, let's go. It's so hard. Seven, three more to go. That last rep wasn't pretty man, but it's just so hard. A one minute rest and then we're going to continue. Guess I'm back, yeah, yeah, all intact, yeah, yeah, couple stacks, yeah, yeah, pay that tax, yeah, yeah, pray to God, yeah, yeah, that my sauce, yeah, yeah, all aboard, yeah, yeah, moving forward, yeah, yeah, got that jewel, yeah, yeah. Five. <sighs> What's the camera woman doing? <laughs> Yo. Oh gosh. Alright, let's go, I got five more. But that is so hard. Yikes. The only one going through. Yikes. I was not ready for this. 
Let's do it. Living pro, yeah, yeah. Trying to troll, yeah, yeah. That my you, yeah, yeah. Double dose, yeah, yeah. Trouble you, yeah, yeah. Stay in law, yeah, yeah. Word of rule, yeah, yeah. Talk my talk, yeah, yeah. Spin my troop, yeah, yeah. Living pro, yeah, yeah. Living pro, yeah, yeah. Eastside roots, yeah, yeah. Showing pro, yeah, yeah. Living pro, yeah, yeah. Living pro, yeah, yeah. Living. Living pro, yeah, yeah. Not a full rep, that doesn't count. One eight, got two more. Hey, the cameraman ain't easy, man. Let's go. <sighs> doesn't count. Is that set two or three? I think it's a third one. I think that was set two. I've got one more set, you know. So that's the third one. That's not the third one, is it? Sharp max, yeah, yeah. Water the grass, yeah, yeah. What do I lack, yeah, yeah. Holding my slack, yeah, yeah. Loving my heart, yeah, yeah. Knife in my back, yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone around here is quietly judging my path, yeah, yeah. It's in my life, yeah, yeah. think it's right. All right, guys. So now finally set free. I was even confused myself because my psychological, mental state is saying I wish this was finished, but let's go. <laughs> I've got three more. I've got three more. <laughs> it's getting too dark. Let's do it. <sighs> Two more. We max out, but that's how you need to overload yourself when you're doing the bodyweight exercises. You're not gonna grow. Two more. <sighs> Let's do this one more. Oh gosh, I can't do that. Come on, Ed. <sighs> I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Just need this to stretch my chest. It's so tight. <sighs> we're done. Gosh, so we've got two more exercises, I think. And then we're done for this whole complete workout. So don't worry, you're almost done. But if you're still with me, if you're still with me, then congratulations. Because this workout is really hard, even for someone at my level. Never used weights before in my life. This is still challenging me so much because I'm focusing on 
exercises that are trained in the same muscle groups. So the muscles are already, <laughs> sorry guys, the muscles are already damaged from the, the previous exercises. So yeah, I'll see you in another minute. All right guys, for the fourth exercise, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing tucked dips. So for this exercise, you need two chairs and I know everyone's got two chairs. It could be off a sofa and off like a tea, a tea table or anything you want. And um, I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do with the form. <laughs> You're having trouble with okay. that. I was having trouble with the distancing. Alright guys, so now once it's a decent width apart from you, you want the two surfaces to be just slightly wider than your shoulder width. And um, you're gonna place your hand on either end. You're gonna tuck your knees. The taller you are, obviously you're gonna need the taller surface. For me, I'm quite short, so um, I can just use two dwarf stature chairs to do this and I'm fine. But you know what? Do you find something that works for you? Alright, so we're gonna do three sets of ten, and this is just gonna finish off our chest. It's going to finish off our shoulders, or at least the, the anterior portion of our shoulders. It's going to finish off our triceps, and it's going to leave us with just one more, one more muscle group. We need to train in this um, workout, and that's going to be our lateral delts, which I'm going to show you after this. Let's go. Black on the black, yeah, yeah. I need a nap, yeah, yeah. I don't relax, yeah, yeah. I'ma need all of the reasons you thinking of taking me back, yeah, yeah. Sony and rap, yeah, yeah. That's where it's at, yeah, yeah. I'm on a boat, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to float, yeah, yeah. You even broke, yeah, yeah. I gave him hope, yeah, yeah. No blowing smoke, yeah, yeah. Climbing the slopes, yeah, yeah. Walking the rope, yeah, yeah. It's not a joke, yeah, yeah. Love to protect me from anyone that's trying to cut from my throat, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to cope, yeah, yeah. X's and O's, yeah, yeah. Overreact, yeah, yeah. Who got my back, yeah, yeah. Shot my axe, yeah, yeah. Water the grass, yeah, yeah. What do I lack, yeah, yeah. Holding my slack, yeah, yeah. Love in my heart, yeah, yeah. Knife in my back, yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone around here is quietly judging my past, yeah, yeah. It's in my life, yeah, yeah. They think it's rap, yeah, yeah. Talk my talk, spit my truth, live it proof. Living proof. Talk my talk. Tell me how long I got left, yeah? Don't you know? Living proof. Living proof. Talk my talk, yeah, yeah. Spit my truth, yeah, yeah. Living proof, yeah, yeah. Living proof, yeah, yeah. Talk that talk, yeah, yeah. Don't you know? Yeah, yeah. Living proof, yeah, yeah. Living proof, yeah, yeah. Living. It's been about 15 seconds. energy immediately so like you know you're not, I you're like not I could in the do, picture don't matter so i felt like i could do four more reps and suddenly that was just my last rep i couldn't do any more so i've got three more to do <laughs> to take this off once your shoulders are gone guys like you can't even move your arms properly so make sure you do stretch i'm not even stretching that much so i'm feeling the after effects <sighs> oh, God. stretching between rests you should say <sighs> right we're doing the last set of 10 and then we're gonna be on to the last exercise. Let's take it back to Harambe when I was trying to be a baller, but where were you? I was out there trying to get it, and where were you? Eyes 
just working on my pivot and where were you? You said that you would be back any minute, I get it, but where were you? I hear them talking, but what it do? I used to come home at night and they asked me like, where were you? Mama said I would find my way back home, boy, if I were you I would just send her the voicemail and she'd be like, where are you? <laughs> that used to be crazy <sighs> That's the last four Boy, am I happy to be at this stage of the workout Oh gosh Alright guys, I'm just going to explain to you what the last exercise is so as I mentioned, we've trained basically our traps a little bit, upper chest we've done, we've done the main part of our chest, triceps are looking okay. Now the only part that I'm gonna teach you how to train today is your lateral delts. <sighs> Again, I told you, I've never lifted weights before in my life. And when I started training, um, I noticed that I had some imbalance. I wasn't looking really good. And when I really looked at my pictures, it's because my triceps were dwarfing my lateral delts. So my arm was looking like, <laughs> I can't even show you guys, but it wasn't looking very good and it wasn't looking in balance. And when I looked at all of my favorite calisthenics athletes, I noticed that they had the same problem as well. And that's that the lateral delts are underdeveloped. So what I started doing after that was focusing on training my lateral delts. And I managed to come up with some exercises that are really effective. And because of that, I'm looking a lot more in balance. And I have like the shape of a bodybuilder more so than a calisthenics athlete. So. This is one of the exercises I've used and I call it hinge contractions. So what you're gonna basically do is find any wall or surface that allows you to place your forearms along it in this manner. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna step a, a few steps away from this wall. Um, the further away you are from the wall, the harder it's gonna be for you to do this. So um, depending on how advanced you are, you can choose what distance you stand away from the wall. Now the key to this exercise is that you can't move your hips. If I move my hips, I can basically do a million of these and it wouldn't be effective. Lock your body at your hips and you're only gonna focus on pushing your body away using your lateral delts. You're gonna lean completely on the wall, place your shoulders along the wall and you're gonna focus on placing all the weight there. So once you do that, you're gonna realize it's a lot more challenging than it seems um, from the <laughs> I'm not gonna even say I lost my trailer of thought. It's more challenging than it seems from the surface. Let's go. Alright, three sets of ten for both arms, yeah? Contract those arms. Kind of barricaded me in. All right, guys, I just had to change positions because that wall was interfering with my form. So make sure you have a full length surface like a door. It's a lot better than that corner that I was in. But I'm going to show you it for my left arm and then I'm going to finish off the workout. Nowadays, I'm just trying to find a way. Sit 
I'm just trying to find my purpose I thought I had it and I lost it Things ain't been the same since I went back and tried to find it Then I remember who designed it Do you love what you do? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I don't know where I'd be at 24 Yeah, yeah, JC, I remember what you told me It's all about the grind, not about the truth Pick and choose, pick and choose carefully It's my life, I will find my destiny Nowadays, I just ask what's next for me I pay the way, so I leave my life to sit That was a crazy workout session. So we're done. We're actually done with this workout. And um, if you guys have done this workout and completed it, let me know in the comments how you how you found this workout. And um, let me get my breath for a second. <laughs> I'll be back in one minute. All right, guys. So well done if you finished this workout. Let me know in the comments if you found this workout to be challenging. Um, and let me know how hard you found it. Um, if you want to see more workouts like this, let me know and then I'm going to make some more workouts. So today we only focused on our chest, our delts and um, what else did we focus on? Our triceps, yeah? So triceps, chest and we focused on our delts obviously, yeah? And then um, if you want to have a back workout made for you, I can do that. Um, in the space of your own house, if you don't have a lot of space, I can do a back workout. But I'm going to tell you straight away to begin with, the most effective back workouts that you can do that are bodyweight based are gonna involve a pull-up bar and that's gonna allow you to train your lats, yeah? So let me show you the lats from the back. That's these muscles that increase your width. And if you wanna get a proper full back, then you definitely need, definitely need a pull-up bar. But you can still work on some of the muscles around your teres minor, your rear delts you can work on at home in your own space. So let me know what you wanna see more of. <laughs> 